Today I'm going to talk about some Spanish cuisine and especially about what somebody might eat if they were to live in a Spanish residencia. So first, this is what a typical breakfast would be for me. Um, it's a piece of toast with marmalade on it, a croissant, and some orange juice. A lot of Spaniards also drink coffee, and a lot of the times they'll have a tostada, which often has a tomato sauce on it, and sometimes cheese. Now, this dish here is very Spanish. It's some chicken with patatas brata, bravas, which are um, a specially prepared type of mashed potatoes with olive oil and seasoning, and also an egg, which they like to eat with their lunch, as opposed to in the U.S. where we eat with breakfast. Here is um, a dish we get sometimes. It's kebabs of chicken with a nice cabbage and pomegranate seed salad on the side. Um, here is a meal we have quite often. It's fried calamari, so fried squid, with a salad that usually has a hard-boiled egg and tuna with it. And we'll also have that salad often with fried fish or baked fish. Here is what we might have on a weekend. It's chicken and vegetables with a kind of sauce um, and french fries, which we actually have french fries here quite a bit. Um, here is a very, very Spanish dish. It's called migas, which all of the flaky stuff in the middle is breadcrumbs that have been boiled with oil um, and recreated into what now seems like rice. And it's usually served with chicken and melon, which that's what's on the left. And then this one um, is uh, empanadillas and croquetes. So the croquetes are the darker, cylindrical looking ones, and they might have spinach in them or they might have some kind of meat. And then the empanadillas have tomato inside. I really like those. And then we'll sometimes get a wedge of iceberg with olive oil and salt on it. And now I thought I'd show you some of my favorite things I've had from restaurants. So this is fried octopus. They really just fried an entire octopus full, whole without really much preparation, it seems. And I split this with my friend. We ate the whole thing, tentacles, globe, everything. And it was quite delicious, actually. Um, and here is some tuna that I had at a restaurant in Cordoba which came with a nice salad and some bread. The tuna was very good, very, very salty though, but it was very tasty and tender. And the seafood here is better than what I'm used to since in Colorado, I'm very, very landlocked. And finally, this is um, a very local dessert that we often have at the Residencia. It's called natillas. It's a kind of custard. Um, it's has cinnamon on top of it, um, but it, it really just tastes mostly like custard and it usually has a bread base at the bottom that's quite sweet. And I really like that because it's one of the things they make homemade at the Residencia. So those are some of the foods that I have been eating all semester. There's obviously a lot more examples, but that'll give you a taste of what I've been tasting. I'll see you next time.